With credit card reform as the hot button issue on the president's upcoming visit to New Mexico, we wanted to see what was on your mind and what you might ask the president given the opportunity. News 13's David Romero is live in downtown Albuquerque with local reaction. David, what'd you find out? Well, Deanna, there was mixed concern overnight, ranging from how credit card companies will be held accountable to limiting government control as to how they'll operate from now on. Um, Memorial Day is the deadline the president is giving Congress to pass his proposed reform of credit card companies in an effort to keep them from ripping off consumers in an already tight economy. So he's hit the road and wants to hear from New Mexicans. We did too, and here's what some had to say. I think that a reform is needed. I believe that um, like it needs to be changed up, though I do understand like how a company actually needs to make a profit for it to work. But I think that too much in our system is based on credit. I think you need to kind of curtail what companies can do and like how they can trick us and kind of keep limits on how they take advantage of us. I guess I would ask... Is there a way to hold the credit card companies maybe accountable, but not undercut the way they do business? Um, I'm not sure the way, you know, I wouldn't want to see the credit system totally change from a government perspective, the way that you're seeing kind of banking and finance uh, and insurance changed, but kind of, you know, how he plans to balance that out. Um, I wouldn't want to see it sort of taken over and controlled by the government. And the president is expected to arrive here in Albuquerque tonight and hold his town hall meeting in Rio Rancho tomorrow. Deanna, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, David. We appreciate that. And News 13 this morning is planning special coverage of the president's town hall meeting in Rio Rancho tomorrow. We'll have a series of special reports about credit cards and how they're impacting you. That's tomorrow at 5 a.m. Also, we will bring you the town hall live at 10 a.m.